it's very important even as a makeup artist you've got to be in sync and in tune with your director with the designer so that you can tell the story about her clothes for a fashion show you're a storyteller in your own right you've got to bring somebody else's vision to life Hi, I'm Lola Major Kojavo and you are going to come under the influence with me. How would I describe myself? It's a bit difficult because I'm everything. I do makeup, I do beauty, I, I apparently have kids as well who take up a lot of my time and my husband too. So um, I do a lot of things and I love every single thing that I do. But in terms of work, um, I just see myself as a beauty cure. It's hard, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so when I first started in makeup, I was literally, I was, I was a kid. I was 14 years old, pretending to be a lot older than I actually was. I pretended to be my 18 year old sister. And I went in there with all the confidence in the world. They could not know that I was a child. I was there in some of the biggest department stores in England, in North Selfridges, in North Harris doing makeup for women who thought I was a lot older than I was. But meanwhile, inside I'm like, yes ma, no ma. But it gave me a great experience because it built up my confidence to know how to speak to people, how to um, relate to all different ethnicities, how to work on different skin tones. I couldn't pick and choose which client was going to come to my counter for their makeup. It also gave me ambition. It, I knew what I wanted to do from when I was young. I was still studying, I was still in university, I was still working, but I had focus. So when I went to school and I studied um, photography, people were like, Photography. Are you going to use photography as an A-level? Even when I went to university and I was doing my um, degree and I had arts and media, everybody was like, really, are you going to use that? I didn't finish my degree, which a lot of people don't know, but I'm quite proud to say it. I left out of choice to embark on my career when I was 18. I was given the choice to either stay and continue into the second year of my degree or go and launch Iman Cosmetics when they came to England. It was a huge choice for me. Um, my dad was really upset with me about it because, you know, who does that? Who leaves at 18 years old, leaves university to go and work as a makeup artist? I did, and it paid off. I always said to myself that I would go back to school and study something that I really wanted to. I didn't want to do a degree just for the sake of being a good daughter. I wanted to do a degree that was actually going to help me in my life. My first degree in the first year did help me because I now understand what it's like on the other side of the camera. So when I'm doing makeup, I also understand from the directors. I did cutting and splicing. Before the days of Apple, I remember when Mac first was introduced and I was like, what is that machine? You know, we did things manually. When I studied photography, we were working in a dark room. I had to have a bag over my hand and take out the film and process it with the chemicals. And it, was, it was an experience. I loved it. But you didn't have a viewfinder. You couldn't see and delete. Eh, don't like that selfie. No, you had to make your composition right. So all of those things that I learned when I was growing up really does help me today because I understand about lighting, I understand about um, different color tones and grading, and I understand about angles and telling a story. It's very important, even as a makeup artist, you've got to be in sync and in tune with your director, whether it's on a film set, you've got to be in sync with the designer so that you can tell the story about her clothes for a fashion show. You're a storyteller in your own right. You've got to bring somebody else's vision to life. So learn about the industry you're in. All of those struggles that I went through in my life have made me who I am today. I'm a huge anime, manga um, fan. I love like all the <laughs> Spider-Man and everything. If it's a Marvel film, I will be there in the queue like a geek with my sister waiting. So I started getting really curious about monster making, creation, doing all of these amazing um, characters and special effects. So it was just a natural logical progression for me because I'm an artist. Everything that I've always done in my life has been art based. I studied art at school. Makeup is just a progression of art and special effects makeup is also a progression of that. The figurine is epic. It's amazing. That's me. Yeah, watch it. 
but it was a project that really made me want to come and invest myself in the Nigerian um, makeup and movie industry because there are so many different directors and producers and actors and filmmakers in general, people involved in the movie industry that have great vision but are just restricted by um, materials or restricted by the ability to do things. So in the last six years going forward, a lot of things have changed since I first came back and started working with Kunle. The quality of the equipment that people are bringing in, people have upgraded, they're not using, it's no longer home video, people are using RED, they're using HD, you know, black magic, you see everything and your makeup has to change if you're changing the kind of equipment that you're using. So every aspect of the industry, the acting, the hair and makeup, the costume and the actual filmmakers themselves are all coming up and we're all on a journey together.